hope you all are doing well. Today I am here to explain the theorem of internal division of the code. Okay. Today I am going to explain this and with proof, with a great solution. Okay. Uh, I hope you can see this uh, project. If you can't see this project, I have a great solution for you. If, I hope you all having this book, Mathematics Part 2nd. In this, the chapter number 3rd and page number 77, you can see this theorem. In that book, this is available. Okay. Before explaining this theorem, let me introduce myself. My name is Puna Madhya Patel. I am in 10th B class. My school name is Nutan Madhyamik Vidya Lai. And the guidance is given by Bilani sir. He has his own YouTube channel. If you are interested to see math video more related to this, so you can go and subscribe his channel. Now, let us come to the point without wasting our time. Now, what's the point is? The point is theorem of internal division of the code. In the textbook language, the definition is given. Uh, you can call as explanation also. Suppose two code of a circle intersect each other in the interior of the circle that the product of the length of the two segments of one code is equal to product of the length the two segments of the code. Okay, this is the explanation given in textbook language. Okay, uh, that was in textbook language. In my language, in simple language, I will tell you. When two code intersect each other inside a circle, the product of their segment are equal. This is in my language. If you want to repetition, let me repeat. When two code intersect each other inside a circle, the product of their segment are equal. Okay? So, we can see P is the center point. Okay? The P is center point. Now you can see that AB, this line is drawn in red color and CD, this line is drawn in blue color. This both are segment, okay? And you can see, uh, this is very easy to understand. So, no need to more explanation. So, code is a straight line segment whose end point lies on the circle, okay? So, you can see segment AE and EB of the code AB, AB, okay? E into EB is equal to CE into ED. Now we have to prove. What we have to prove is AE into EB and uh, is equal to CE into EB. This uh, ED, sorry. Uh, so for proving, we need construction. And what the construction is? The construction is draw segment AC, AC and segment DB. So in green dotted line, I had drawn that. So you can see, if you can't able to see, the textbook is given. Okay. So now we have to prove. So how to prove and how it is given, I am going to explain you the main part now. Now here we are going to find a final answer. So how we 